For this episode of the GoPro Field Guide, I'm going to be showing you several different mounts and accessories for surfing and at the beach. Along the way, I'll offer you some tips that you can pick up for your GoPro. I'm GoPro athlete Jamie O'Brien. Check it out. Before we start shooting, there are a few basic products we need to cover. First, we need the GoPro. Here we have the Hero 4 Black. The other models of GoPros will work just fine. Because we're going to be in a wet, sandy environment, you'll need a few accessories. Standard waterproof housing anti-fog inserts so the lens doesn't fog, a floaty back door so your GoPro doesn't end up on the bottom of the ocean, and a camera tether for added security. Let's start with the surfboard mount. I mounted this yesterday so that adhesive had 24 hours to cure. For a different angle, try mounting surfboard mount slightly off to the center of the board, opposite of your front foot. This gives you a unique angle compared to the standard look of going right down the middle of your board. For video, I shoot 1440p at 60 frames per second. Great slow motion, insane image quality. I also play around with 960p at 120 for ultra slow motion. If I'm looking to get photos, I use half second time lapse mode. To get the best image quality possible out of my GoPro, I turn ProTune on. The new three-way by GoPro is awesome for everyday use. This can be used as a camera grip, extension arm, or a tripod. I use it for everything from waves, sunsets, time lapses, and more. The three-way floats on the water when you have a floaty back door attached to your GoPro. It also has a wrist strap attachment point for further security. When using it as a tripod for static shots and time lapses, be mindful of the configuration. If it's a risky mounting surface or there is wind, take off the folding arms. For added stability, use the grip and tripod. For maximum stability, just use the tripod. When removing the arm, to use the handle as a standalone grip. Attach thumb screw back to the arm so you don't lose it. When reattaching the arm to the grip, assemble it so all the metal is on the same side. The configurations are endless on this mount, so have fun and be creative. This final mount is called the Handler. It is a floating hand grip that is awesome for surfing because it's lightweight, floats a camera without a floaty back door, and has an adjustable wrist strap. For slow motion handheld barrel shots, I use high frame rate video modes like 960p at 120 frames per second. With these mounts and accessories, I'm always prepared for ocean photography with my GoPro. I hope you picked up a few tips along the way. I'm GoPro athlete Jamie O'Brien. Stay tuned for the new GoPro Field Guide episode soon.